this video is about making a reactive audio spectrum waveform to our music or voice. It is great effect especially for music videos. So enough talking, let's do it. <laughs> Drag the music on the timeline to create a new composition. Now, what we need to do is go to New, Solid and create a new solid. It is needed to create a waveform on. Select it and go to Effect, Generate and choose Audio Spectrum. Before we start, notice that there are no movement and that is because we have to select audio layer to the music of our audio like this. Now, by editing start and end points, we can adjust the position of our spectrum line. We can stretch it out, we can adjust it however we want. Also, we can make a path with a pen tool simply by drawing a path and selecting mask 1 in path section. Now it is very important to adjust start and end frequencies, what it does basically considers the sound range in our song. I really recommend to choose start frequency to 1, because in this way we get all the frequencies from the beginning of our song. But with the end frequencies we have to choose wisely, because our song may not include all the frequencies, so what we want to do is to just play around with that to get the best results. Next, frequency bands by increasing adds more bands to our waveform. By increasing much we can make it solid. By decreasing it the waveform becomes more spaced out. Maximum height increases the height of our waveform jumps to the music. Once again we have to play around with it a little bit just to find the perfect option because we don't want it to go over our screen and get cut. Audio duration, well, basically the more we increase it, the more gentle movement will be. There is no much to say, but try to adjust it a bit just to find what fits perfectly your project. The audio offset is used to delay music from the waveform for some kind of reason. Personally, I don't like this effect and I'm not going to use it. Thickness makes the bands bigger. The more we will increase it, the bigger bands will be. By saying bigger, I mean thicker. By making our bands thick, it looks a little bit blurry, so there comes softness. If you want to make a thick band and make it look clear, we have to play with softness to make what we need. Now, about the colors. Adjusting inside color adjusts the color what is inside the bands. By default, it is pink. Outside colors adjust the border color of the band. But what I really want to explain is hue interpolation. As you can see, it is at zero now. But by turning the wheel one time or 360 degrees, it will add the whole spectrum of colors to the waveform. Rotating it twice, three, four, five, or even more times includes more color spectrums. What I mean is, for example, five rotation means five color spectrums on our waveform. But if you rotate it for like 90 degrees or 180 or whatever we want, it will introduce only a few colors to the bands. Now, if we will leave a dynamic hue phrase on, it will animate colors on the waveform. While color symmetry is on, it makes the color symmetrical from the middle of the waveform. By turning it off, it simply makes the colors go from one side to other. Last thing I want to talk about is display options. We can choose from three different options. By default it is digital display. We can also do analog lines. It makes small waveform feel. And analog dots, what transfers line to the dots. Side options allow us to choose to what side our waveform goes. I mean, it might go up by choosing A, it might go down by choosing B, or it can be symmetrical, go up and down by choosing A and B together. So that would be it about making waveform. Hope it's gonna be helpful for you guys. And as always, 
Thanks for watching. Thank you.